campers, welcome back for another episode of Free and Budget Campsite. My name's Peter and I'm travelling around Australia road testing campsites. So we're at a place called Infracone, it's around 27 kilometres outside of Longreach. Look, I decided to stop here because, mate, seriously, I went through the town and I went, hey, this looks alright, I'm going to stop here. Now, it's a lot quieter than Longreach, um, as you can tell. I can't hear nothing. Look, the caravan park has got a lot to offer. The toilets are fantastic, which I reckon they're going to be another one of them, but we'll soon see anyway. On the main street, where I am at the moment, there is a lot of old remnants of vehicles, farming vehicles, diesel. Mate, seriously, they've even got the old steam ones. Look, it's all along the side. There is quite a few of them. I reckon there'll at least be over a hundred vehicles along the side what they used to use. But the caravan park, it's a great caravan park. It's kept tidy. The ladies really good. They have happy hour. The camp kitchen is incredible, by the way. Um, and it's quiet out here. Seriously, long reach, yeah, a bit of a hustle and bustle, but out here, beautiful. Look, I know you're on the main highway, the Lambsbrus Highway. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Righto. Look, if you need the phone number of the caravan park, it's on the bottom. Now, if I have left anything out, all the links are down below. Um, just look at the description, and I have all the links and everything you need to know about this joint anyway. But look, it is a really nice caravan park. I love it here. I want a movie. But anyway, out further ado, let's have a look at the park. Well, actually, let's have a look at some of the town here. past the Well Shop Hotel. Seriously, pop in. The place is open early, early in the morning for a coffee, and the cheese and ham toasties are fantastic. Right, how do you groovers? Here's that cheese and ham tomato sandwich I told you about, are so famous in Landsborough Highway. Mate, seriously, do yourself a favor, pop in, have a look, see what it's like. Prices are fantastic. Oh, look at these, eh? In the morning, this is what the doctor ordered. Must get one. Mm. Coffee to go work. All right, let's have a look at this mile. Talk to you soon, Clavers. This place here along the strip of Landsborough Highway is called the Machine Mile. I'm assuming it's a mile long. So look, they've got the old machines, they've got the D9s, D8s, everything else, mate. These things I haven't seen. The only thing I've seen these things is in black and white movies. Mate, seriously, it's worth coming along, having a coffee over the pub, have something to eat, which is a fantastic. You can walk up here, have a look, walk down memory lane, find out about some culture about the place, um, about far old farming history. Where else are they gonna dump their crap? It's just dumping in the main street, but it's worth seeing. Seriously, I haven't seen some of these vehicles God knows how long. Woo woo! Look at this old thing, mate! Seriously! Imagine cranking this thing over the start of the morning. No wonder their backs are broken at those age. It makes us wonder, back in the days that this was being used, mate, it must have been back-breaking work. A lot easier now, isn't it, guys? Before we get right into the caravan park, I want you to have a quick look at this hotel, mate. Seriously, if you're going past Landsborough and you're going for a, past Infracone, stop in for a coffee. One of those famous ham, cheese, tomato toasties. Yum, yum, yum. Like I said, just what the doctor ordered in the morning. Anyway, seriously, look at the pub. I've got a few slides and stuff like that. 
Mate, seriously, it's got some character. They've got a caravan park in here and everything else. They've also got uh, cabins and everything else, just like the Infocone caravan park I'm in it right now. It is a great pub to stop in, have a couple of beers, look at the culture, look at the stuff they've got all over the place. Mate, it's worth stopping in. Every campsite in this park is normally powered. They don't really have non-powered. And the non-powered between the powered and non-powered sites, it's only a couple of bucks. So you might as well just fork out and get the power. I did, I've got lots of power, but even still, I still pay for power. But anyway, these are the sites here. Mate, they're pretty good sites. Look, these ones here, you're right near the road. Ask for the ones closer to where I am. They're away from the main highway. But this highway is not a very busy highway. Well, can't hear anything at the moment, so look, there's not much traffic here and it does calm down after five o'clock. You don't get stuff all on there. Let's keep looking at the park. Rightio, clampers, here are some of the powered sites on the outside of the caravan park. They're not as large as the centre ones, but these ones are quite cosy. They're all right. You've got your power there and you've got your water, which is all right to drink. Fantastic. Look, there are a little bit of small sites, but for a caravan and a vehicle right next to it. Okay, we're right at the back of the site at the moment, uh, right near the vehicle on top of a structure. It's an old Bedford van or something or other, I don't know, it's that old, I don't even recognise it. But right at the back of the park, there is the drive through sites, the ones I'm on for instance over the side here. But you can come straight off the road and straight up and park. Mate, you don't even have, I didn't even have to level my van out, I got the uh, leveler out and went, yeah good enough, perfect, set up and all I did is camp and relaxed. But campsite's fantastic, got power right near, you got water right near too. Beautiful. Okay, Clambers, this caravan has got a laundromat. And look, it's pretty good. They've got three washing machines and they're reasonably priced. Normal prices of a washing machine these days is four bucks. Four bucks it is. Look, they don't have any dries down here because normally, mate, the sun's down at the moment. You don't really need to use a dryer. Mate, just hang them out. They have got clotheslines around the side there, which is protected and everything else. So, perfect, eh? You could do your washing while you're here. Rightio, the shed we call the camp kitchen. And Kathy puts on a bit of a do every couple of days here. It's called happy hour. So if you're lucky to be here, great. Plan your trip so you do get here on happy hour. If the camp kitchen. What a camp kitchen. Look at this. Hey, have a look. You've got some kettles, you've got some toasters. Can't find a microwave, but I'm assuming there is a microwave somewhere floating around here. You've got an open fire when it gets cold, she starts the fire on. But seriously, sitting in this place and looking around, it puts you back in the back in the 1800s mate it's all built with recycled wood and it's just slapped together oh, of course it's solid but it's just slapped together and it looks fantastic it really adds the character when you sit down and have something to eat right now here's what i said about the happy hour mondays wednesdays 5 30. look she puts a little bit of a do on on there of course you've got to bring your own drinks and your own nimbies and everything else but there's entertainment how perfect's that Cool. The toilets. Mate, seriously, 
in my books. Guess what? They're coming up. Here it comes. Yes, it's a five. It's a five out of five, guys. Look, they've got hand sanitizer, they've got paper towel. They've, it's cleaned every day. Mate, seriously, you can't get better. Look, fantastic, guys. Mate, well done, Kath. Five out of five in my books. Right, oh clampers, when you come to places like this, I always can't stress out enough. Take your crap with you. Mate, seriously, there's bins here, there's bins everywhere around the place. So when you finish with your rubbish, chuck it in there. Remember, no trace. Right, Rightio clampers, it's the crappy part of the show. Get it? Crappy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I know, my jokes have to get better. Look, there's got a dump site right across the road from the actual caravan park itself. It's a good clean area that you can pull up beside and dump your crap. With me, with my RV, which is over close to nine meters long, I can still get it in here. Now, let's have a look. Beautiful clampers. It's one of those ones that have got no gauze over top so when you do put your pipe in it if you've got a black water sewage uh, tank that you have to empty it with a hose it fits straight in there and mate seriously like I said before the water use it to wash it out and everything else it doesn't smell mate seriously this uh, dump site is a really nice site guys phone reception guys Seriously, I've got three bars, 4G. Really good phone reception out here, mate. Seriously, can't get better than that. Some of the places I've been to are crappy. Oh, no. But this site, fantastic, mate. You're near enough to get 4G around here, full bars. They are so nice in here. The prices start from $120 and go up from there for a single. When you get here, get one of these cabins, mate. Nice inside, and they're cheap. Air conditioning, free Wi-Fi, everything you can count, they've got. Mate, seriously, come have a look. Beautiful. Right, guys, when you do come to a place like this, they've got souvenirs here. It's their glass beads. They're pretty nice for a, like a, a dress jewelry. Um, they're all handcrafted. She's got a great range of stuff to actually um, sell and everything else. I'll show you now, won't I? Cups. Steel thermo cups. Fantastic. And Jess um, hits them, she makes them. Mate, they're pretty well priced. They're 35 bucks. Normally these go for around 27 to 30 dollars anyway. And she charges only an extra five dollars with a pattern that you're never going to find anywhere else. These cups are fantastic. They have coffee in, cold stuff, whatever. They keep them cold. They're a thermal mug. Right here, guys. I hope you like the caravan park at Infracone on the Landsborough's Highway, just before Longreach. Mate, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Totally in your hands. Just a quick reminder: turn notifications on, and guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great weekend.